This past weekend, we spent some time out on a lake on a pontoon boat with friends of ours. After we left the marina, we headed out for a while until we came to this nice quiet cove. We motored back into the cove, dropped our anchor, and settled in for a relaxing day on the water. It was a beautiful day. Lots of sunshine, low humidity, and a nice breeze. But you'd be hard pressed to wish for better weather. Occasionally the wind would pick up a little bit, but it really was still very relaxing. That is, until we realized that the wind was actually pushing the boat. We didn't realize it at first, but we had moved significantly from where we dropped our anchor. Now the whole point of an anchor is to keep you stationary. It's to keep you grounded. Is it too cliche to say anchored? I mean, dictionaries do that all the time, don't they? They use a word to define the word. Anyway, a few things came together that caused us to have this problem. The breeze that we thought felt good was actually strong enough to blow the pontoon boat. The anchor that we thought was holding wasn't. And we were lulled into complacency, thinking that everything was fine. In the grander scheme of things, it really wasn't a big deal. We simply had to pull the anchor, reposition the boat, and go back to relaxing. But it does make you wonder, doesn't it? We trust in many things, thinking they're secure and that they'll keep us secure. Perhaps it's a job. Maybe it's a savings account or your retirement fund. Maybe family or friends, physical health, or your physical strength. We put our trust in all kinds of things and people, only to be let down when the winds of life pick up. As followers of Christ, we have put our trust in God and His promises. And the neat thing about that is that God, because of His character, is unable to go back on His word, meaning His promises are 100% guaranteed, a sure thing. The author of Hebrews puts it this way, So God has given us both His promise and His oath. These two things are unchangeable because it is impossible for God to lie. Therefore, we who have fled to Him for refuge can have a great confidence as we hold to the hope that lies before us. This hope is a strong and trustworthy anchor for our souls. If you have placed your trust in Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter what happens, you are secure. If you haven't, it doesn't matter what you are trusting in, eventually it will fail and you'll be swept away. Trust Jesus today. He is a firm anchor.